I'm very happy to introduce today our wonderful guest who is a brilliant alternative energy healer and practitioner. Uh, she works with many different aspects of alternative healing and she has a website called quantum energy healing sunshinecoast.com.au and you can see her in the photo there in the red dress and that's her son Felix in there but um, she's not coming on camera today but we're going to chat all about the incredible uh, things that she offers for people to work with their own wellness and uh, you've worked with over 500 people, Tracy. Yes, right. yes. Beautiful. Since I've had the the the, uh, the Skio machine, I've I've helped a lot of people with lo lots of different lots of different uh, lots of different people have lots of different problems. So we, uh, it's a broad spectrum of things. Absolutely. So with the Skio. Uh, <clears throat> We, we've talked just recently to a wonderful man, Tom Palladino, in America, who works with Scalar Energy. So for the people yeah. that watch that interview, they'll know, um, have an idea of how this type of energy work um, actually works, because it's it's very similar to that. And the SCIO is a scientific consciousness interface operation system. Uh, so it does work similarly because it's working with quantum energy. And um, so can you explain a little bit about your skio? And I'm going to put an image up on the screen of what it looks like so people can see, um, have it just a quick look, get a sense of it. Um, just bring it up on the screen here. Here it is. This is a little image there of the skio machine. And you hook it up with your wrists and things like that um so tell us a little bit about what the skio does and and what it is okay so as tom explained how you know quantum energy is working with his scalar frequency generator this this device is is a, is a generator of frequency as well. It's almost like a jukebox with, you know, 14,000 different uh, resonance frequencies in it and it's got a lot of different programs. So it's an energy therapy. Uh, it's it's geo biofeedback quantum energy therapy uses harmonic frequency and vibrations to balance your energy on a quantum cellular level. So these energetic frequencies may leave the clients with more energy and less stress and then bringing them back into well-being. And so avoiding, um, you know, if people don't want to take any uh, any pills, you know, it's, it's a different style of frequency uh, healing. So it's, it's holistic, it's safe, it's pain-free, it's non-invasive therapy, it can scan you know, um, adults, children, animals, uh, places, you know, properties. Um, if you, uh, I've had clients that asked me to clear their property because they had like an oppression that on the, you know, and so we put in the address and we clear it and wonderful things happen afterwards. Wow. Um, yes. So it's completely different from x-rays or blood tests. So it's offering insight into the vibration and the energetic state of one's individual mind and body. So it scans a human body like a computer, like an anti-malware scan, and, and rebalances stress disruptions that may affect one's well-being, you know, um, just leaving you feeling calm and cleansed and rejuvenated and reset so that your subconscious mind um, you know, it, it clears your subconscious mind um, and your auric fields and it allows the body to effectively heal itself, basically, by sort of disrupting any interruptions that might be affecting our nervous system and our emotions and things like that. Uh, I understand. And I, and I want to share with people shortly how incredibly comprehensive it is. But um, my first question is, how long has this type of um, system been available, this, this specific one? It's 40, nearly 50 years it's been around. Um, so it was developed in America and, uh -huh. um, and it's been broadly used all over Europe 
now with different practitioners, doctors and physios. And so it's a, it is a medical device that is recognised by uh, medical people that they do use it overseas. Yes. Okay, sure. Right. Um, so it has been around um, a period of time, but, you know, these sorts of things in terms of coming into people's consciousness, they've really started to become much more in people's awareness just recently I think and I think as the collective consciousness rises people become aware of these incredible things that we can access to really benefit our own um, soul wellness and 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 uh, on you know holistically mentally physically emotionally spiritually and and so when we work with this um, you can do it through distance or you can do it you can come and see you on the sunshine coast and book in that way and so how many clients do you have that are distant as opposed to the ones that come in to see you because you have a lot of distance yeah. yes clients, i would say like 90 percent of my clients are distance healing um because you know i treat people all over australia or overseas or like if somebody's got a dog that's not well, you know, they or you know they don't want to put it in the car and bring it over here. Um, so, you know, we can work with them. We, we just get the people to fill in a, a comprehensive questionnaire with lots of details, and then all that information is put into the computer program, and then we organise a time for the treatment. And then we, I give them a quick call and, or a text and say, okay, just be in a place of relaxation. So it's like if you're having a massage, you just want to be quiet and take it easy. And then we do the treatment and then we get the, the text or the phone call back saying, wow, something amazing has just happened, you know. So, um, yeah, um, but it, it uses remote healing. So so it's it, what it's... it's they call it um, quantum entanglement. And um, Tom explained that very well by using the photograph and putting it, you know, in front of his scalar machine and you felt the effects. So um, th this is how it works, this quantum entanglement. I can explain with the words a bit better if you like. Uh, how that actually works. Well, I, I get it. I, I totally... Um you know an inner stand I like the word better than understand yes, uh, yes. what you're saying because it everything is connected in a quantum field and um so you are able to go in on in that field and just shift so many things because you sent me information after you worked on me and I was blown away by all the different things that it's working on and then you actually sent me an, an an analysis of everything that you'd done and there were so many elements to it can you go through perhaps some of the different elements that you cover specifically uh -huh. with the with this um, system that you use okay so it has a few different programs in it it has like an electro acupuncture. So I say you've got a headache. I can type in headache and it will send all this. Um, so under headache, it's got numbers 67972 and like a whole bunch of different things that make up that frequency, particularly for headache. It's like, you know, if you go onto YouTube, you can, you can Google, or you can put in uh, frequency for headache and it will make a sound. You know, you can listen to that in the background. It's like 528 hertz frequency. That is a sound tone. So it's sending that frequency to you. You can't hear it, but it's um, it's going in on a cellular level. Uh, of, And so it's working on a cellular level. So we have electroacupuncture. We have iridology. We have body viewer. We have like uh, neuro linguistic programming, we have spiritual chakra clearing, where, which will clear off any blockages in your chakra with the motions that are attached. We have the spine uh, frequency, which will, you know, works with every vertebrae and every nerve. Uh, we also have, hold on. Yeah, working with the stress and emotions. So you might have. 
a person who has a lot of anger. So as we're balancing their spine and every emotion that comes from every vertebrae, it will it will pick up, oh, this person's angry or this person's fearful. So we just as we balance the body, we, we, we bring those emotions back into, you know, equilibrium as, as being more, instead of, you know, more dramatic, you know, um, just bringing them back in. So there's lots of, you know, it will tell me if there's mineral deficiencies or amino acid deficiencies or, you know, we work on fungus and different, different uh, effects. You know, you can have, we can have like a heavy metal ex exposure or we can have, a you know, um, lots of different environmental toxins that can affect our, our well-being and um, you know homeopathic remedies or bushflower remedies uh, and geopathic stresses yes. oh, okay sure well um, it was very very um, you know specific too when you sent me the analysis um, which I was really impressed by for example there was one of the points that you said where um, you asked if I had had sort of some cranial um, sort of like a hit to the head or something like that. Now, when I when I was born, my head got squashed, um, and and I and it came out like a bit triangular. <laughs> it didn't look good when I was born, and um, so it sort of got quite squashed. And I did also actually as well on top of that <laughs> have a ball uh really s sort of smashed hard into my head when I was in primary school and um so those couple of things were uh, what you indicated with the results that you found I thought that was that was really uh fascinating that you were picking up these specific things like that mm. so we um you know there's a lot of different bones in our head so what I would have done is activate that program to to just loosen and and put them you know put them back in place a bit so it compares your body to a healthy body so that's what the biofeedback does it sort of it, it compares your body to a healthy body and it will see what is that big main stress we're working on all the uh, the stress and and so then it may have you know released some of the pressure or tension uh you know of the the muscles that are holding the head into place and and the, you know uh that this is a stress so we're working on releasing that stress from your cellular memory yes yes well, I, I really encourage people out there to try this. You know, you, you're very uh, reasonably priced as well for a, for a two hour session where you work on people. Um, I think you're a hundred and fifty, yeah, hundred and fifty, which is very yeah. reasonable for a two hour session. And then you can do continual sessions after that. What What do you recommend for people in terms of like uh, whether they have more than one session is it determined by what the results are that you find or do you yeah. generally find that a few sessions are more recommended for people yeah they do say to have three sessions um and and it can be you know a week apart or a, two weeks apart or a month apart because everything sort of unravels from that so it's like peeling the onion um i myself have done like over 60 treatments on myself because, uh, you know, it just helps pull me back into balance a lot. And, what are you saying, yeah, Tracy? That, yeah, that was yeah. you actually found this type, this specific um, uh, uh, way of working with your wellness was way better than anything else that you tried. And that's actually what drew you to be a practitioner with it because mm. it helped you so much. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yes. So um, I was. Um, I had a lot of really uh, stressful things happen in my life. Very, you know, um, but well, look, I, it started when I was 15. I had a scoliosis and they said to me, you have to have a steel rod in your back. And I decided, no, I wasn't going to go that way. So I always went with massage, acupuncture, chiropractic. But as I got older, I realised that my emotions, every time if I was under a, a, a mental stress, um, my back would get worse. You know, it's like it was a gauge for me. So um, massages, plenty of those, or Bowen, or, you know, crystal healings, or, or Reiki healings, or meditation, 
And I just went and tried this one out and I was very stressed before I had it and it just it just relaxed my nervous system and, and just so much, it, you know, it really calms the nervous system. You know, it works with the parasympathetic, the sympathetic and the vagus nerve. And I just felt like all the trash that was around me was cleared and I could think clearly and then and then reboot, you know, restart again. And that was only a one hour treatment that I had. Um, so, you know, it was just life changing. When I experienced it, I thought I have to learn this because it was just the best ever of, of, of anything I'd experienced. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Um, well, you have got a lot of training in different areas too. You you uh, work with homeopathic remedies, yes, Australian bush flowers, yes. Um, you've got a more than a decade of holistic healing and knowledge. I I love chatting to you, you know. But, but before we've um, had this interview, we we've connected quite a few times, and you've had a fascinating journey. You, you lived on a boat, a sailboat, for a long time, and traveled around the world didn't you <laughs> all sorts of great things so yes. you, you, you've definitely explored you know this reality a lot haven't you the, the earthly reality in order to find this as well um yes and it is often our own journey isn't it that lead us to to what we're meant to be um giving as our um spiritual mission you know to others and medina what happened when i lived on the yacht you know, you're in the elements, you're in nature, you, you, you're really um, you're picking a lot of energy up from, you know, the, the universal energies and your intuition is, is really sparking. And, um, you know, if you're doing, you know, 40 days at sea or something, you're really in tune with the elements. And um, it was when I came to live back on land and, and lots of things happened that um, you sort of, get out of that um, the, the, the nature flow and then you get caught up with all this other crazy stuff and it, it um, we don't realize how, how so many different things affect us and until we get back to that clearing all that stuff off and and centering again. I totally totally get where you're coming from there because I currently live on the water and I'm next to a big conservation park. So it's nature around me, animals, birds, you know, right on the water. And there's something about that that really enhances your energy and your abilities and all that sort of thing. But when, when I was living, for example, in the midst of like a suburb in Melbourne, um, it, it, it brought a lot of the the sort of inherent things within my system that were vulnerabilities up, you know, like um, it would um, aggravate like a skin condition I had and all sorts of things because you've got all this uh, intense energy of all the people there and you haven't really got anything to sort of um, dissipate the energy in terms of nature. And, and, and so I fi found that when I was living in busy city type areas, I wasn't able to um, function as well. And, and so I know exactly what you're saying. I can really relate to that. Yes. And um, I discovered homeopathy because of my son had a, talking about skin conditions, um, and I'd taken him to many different doctors and specialists and, you know, had all the yeah. tests done and, um and nobody could help me. It was just like, oh, well, you know, we don't know. Or oh, he's got a sensitivity to dust or, um, you know, just a joke. You know, the stress of driving to Brisbane with a three-year-old in the back of the car and waiting to see a specialist and paying $500 and then walking out and thinking, well, I still know more. I still don't know anything more than, than what's just happened. So a friend of mine... Um, who I used to get massage from, she'd studied homeopathy. And uh, so then we, we started working with Felix with this homeopathy and um, it, it just, it was an incredible uh, insight into so many things, you know, this, this yeah. is vibrational medicine, they call it. Um, so uh, that, that started me with that. And then it was, um, you know, the bush flower essence and working with emotions as well, because I was so stressed and it was, it was 
going into his energy field and it wasn't it was sort of like it's just snowballing getting worse and worse with um you know change change the food or you know be aware or you you couldn't take him out I couldn't take him to the beach he couldn't sit on the salt sand he was you know and it was so so you know as a mother you just want to do whatever you can to relieve the, the um you know all that um pain and and uh suffering yes yeah yes. Um, that's sort of why that uh, we were chatting together and we wondered what we could offer um my viewers in terms of being able to support you know people at the moment on the planet people are going through so much so intense so much intensity at the moment um and because we're going through this very uh accelerated growth period for humanity that it's it's really pushing everyone's stuff to the surface, particularly right now, so that all your shadow aspect or your wounding or whatever you haven't dealt with is coming up to be seen and healed and transmuted. So what we thought that we could offer uh, the, the audience that are listening is uh, potentially a workshop where you can share your wisdom and knowledge about homeopathic first aid and um, simple everyday remedies that people can use to really support their wellness. You actually even have a first aid kit that you can put together for people with homeopathics as well, you know, that they are wanting to um, create if they'd like to order one. But we thought that with a workshop like this, what we could offer people that would be of the most value to, you know, anyone listening would be, how to use homeopathic remedies, important rules for handling, how to store them, things to avoid for maximum impact uh, effect, um, focusing on recognising the changing symptoms of common colds, home remedies for preventing illness from intensifying and activating the immune system to make a speedy recovery, understanding different remedies and their effects of homeopathics, um, this knowledge can help you to take charge of your health and feel secure in empowering yourself and being your own therapist, which I think is really important at the moment for people to feel that they can access this themselves and um, through everything that we're um, navigating at the moment. You, you said we will be looking at a few remedies, including aconite, arnica, nux vomica, arsenicum album, pul Pulsitilla, I can't say it. Pulsitilla? Pulsitilla, thank you. Yeah. And other remedies for fever, shivers, infection, and guiding you to a deeper knowledge of vibrational medicine. I think a workshop like that, a 90-minute workshop, will be incredible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, the details up here to contact me and register. If that's a workshop that you would like to attend, then Tracy will be running it and I'll be hosting. And I think that could help a lot of people. And you also have a real focus, as you said earlier, you're, you're very much uh, inspired to help mothers so that mothers can help their children and help their kids. Um, tell me about your passion for helping mothers there. Well, um, I, I did an aged care course and I just realised that we need to educate people and the new babies that are coming in. And we need to help the mothers, you know, give those children their full potential of, of, of being in touch with their own vibration. You know, we can, when you use energetic medicine, it does change your vibration. So when you, like if you notice that you've been to the beach and it's been a bit windy and, and the, the baby's sort of starting to get a bit of a cough or, you know, you can address that immediately before it goes to a runny nose or then it gets into phlegm, you know. So it's kind of teaching people how to recognise the different stages of illness and then you can knock it on the head before it intensifies into something that you're going to be sick for a couple of weeks as opposed for just a couple of days so yeah I really would like to help the mothers and the children because they're our future and and we uh it's going to be a better world if people are uh, you know have access to this you know amazing modalities that are you know um it's very empowering. 
Absolutely. And you know, I, I listened to a talk recently and this um fellow who was a channel, he talked about how the dark was specifically targeting humanity's health. So what the consequence of that was that when they're not in their best state of health, they're not able to really grow on a soul level. They're not able to ascend. You know, they're not able to continue on the trajectory of, of um going into the golden age because they're too um their energy is too low and their their frequency is too low and they're just focused on trying to you know you know stay well and and so I thought that was really an interesting uh concept of why um humanity has in the past been suppressed in terms of our our highest um wellness you know mm -hmm. and um I was using, when I was extremely stressed before I ever had the Skio, um, I was using rescue remedy or I was using gelsinium for anxiety because I had a lot of, um, they call it uh, anxiety before something's going to happen. I just can't think. Anticipation anxiety. And, um, you know, I used to drive around with the gelsinium in my car with me because, you know, but um, as soon as I had the skio, it just blew it all out of the water. It was like, oh, man, I've been taking these drops for anxiety for so long. And now it's just like, oh, it's just the veil was lifted. You know, I still use it now, um, you know, as a cushion. But um, it's just nice to have that because there's so many people are, you know, under intense anxiety or, you know, depression and things these days with everything yeah, they really are. And I'd like to make the point that um, you believe that 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 that, that the, some of the issues that your your son had were related to this thing that was happened when he was young that we were all told to get for our children. I won't yes. say the words, but yes. I, I really would like to point that out because you know it it makes it clear to people that this thing has got a lot to answer for in terms of our overall health now and a lot of um, the young people that are growing up. So um, with Felix now, he's just flourishing as well and he's doing amazing um paintings amazing music and he's really got a lot of holistic wisdom himself uh, I can hear him in the background <laughs> suggesting a few things here and there to say so good on you Felix for being there you know with your mum you know on the team, the team mum <laughs> fantastic um and I'd love to actually invite you on my show because I love having young people um, sharing, you know, their wisdom, because then that's a fantastic role model for other young people. So, you know, I, I'm really looking forward to that. But um, mm. it's really benefited Felix to really flourish now, hasn't it? Yeah, he had a hard time at school and, um, you know, um, and he had a hard time with his digestion. So the skio gave me a lot of information about, um, you know, liver gallbladder, he was suffering from, uh, you know, a lot of congestion and, you know, it's very important to get the, the digestive system working and expelling toxins and, and that was all very congested and we went down that road of, um, you know, doing some big cleanses and really, uh, you know, he was just the next day or you know like I was I sent I did a lot of treatments with him with the skio but we still had to do physical things that you know liver gallbladder cleanses and changing you know uh, enzymes and probiotics and and yeah. uh, getting the gut right and um, so all of those things have been part of um, getting getting him back on track and uh, a lot of my clients do have they come with a lot of gut issues because of so many chemicals on our food. Mm -hmm. And um, I've helped a lot of people just expel some, some toxins and they get their life back, you know. Well, you are a wealth of information on holistic health. And, you know, that's why I'd love to be able to, you know, offer these workshops to people so people can tap into your knowledge and your wisdom. And, you know, we can also, you know, get your work out there. You know, I really want people to be able to access and know about what you're doing. It's fantastic. Um, I'd like to share at the moment your uh, website here on the screen, which is... Uh, quantum energy healing sunshine coast.com.au 
Uh, there's a lovely picture of you, Tracy, and you've got your information there about everything that you're doing, and you've got your um, all the services and everything there. Um, so if people um, would like to do the workshop they're offering, please contact me or contact Tracy. And if you want to get a session with Tracy with the SKIO, um machine please contact her i really recommend it i mean i think you can't do enough at the moment in terms of your own uh, wellness because um, with everything that is being thrown at us at the minute this is the time now to really focus on your own well-being holistically on on all levels and um you know, we, we we are, I think there's so many people doing remote viewing and doing all sorts of things. We even, I even had a session this week with my Soul Mastery group where we all foresee tur more turbulence coming up, like going into more of the eye of the storm before we are able to get to the really good bit, which will be when we've been liberated from all the dark and, you know, the planet can go forward and, you know, uh, celebrate and go forward in the light so we all still have a bit of a journey to go and we and we want to be at our best for that journey so what's your recommendation for people at the minute overall in terms of as we head potentially into an eye of a storm with the energies at the moment what what's what can you share that could uh help support people at the moment okay so um well I guess, you know, it's a lot of emotions happening for, you know, you know, because we, it's hard for us to speak uh, what we feel because uh, people are, um, you know, there's all this opposing between Australia at the moment, you know, is all this. Um, yes. With the, um, yeah. With the VOICE. I don't even know if we can say the word. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we better not say that. Um, no. <laughs> well, you know, grounding is very important, um, you know, getting, you know, getting in the ocean or, you know, getting, getting in the nature and, um, you know, uh, just have a little bit of a detox and, 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 you know, it's very, if you're very stressed and you do have a skio, you're just going to notice straight away um, its impact, you know, I've had people like that have been you know stagnant and home and they've had you know they've gone and had one or two treatments and they've gone home and cleaned out the spare room that they haven't been able to do it for years they've just got that get up and go to to, to get going again um so i think i think we just have to like you say be aware of clearing our spaces so that our true energy can shine through and we can be the warriors that we need to be in in um in storm and i really recommend you know this uh, uh this energy uh we have to watch our words don't we quantum um energy work that you are doing because you know i did have a session myself and it was fantastic i did feel much lighter afterwards i initially i did feel quite tired the next day because i was just integrating it all and um when i looked at all the information because it was as you as you sent me all the information because you wanted me to see everything, you know, it was just so um, comprehensive. You know, we have the wonderful work that Tom does overseas with the scalar light frequencies, but you don't get really any specific information back from that about what's, um, I mean, he'll he'll say what he's working on, but he won't go in in a personalised way specifically and tell you exactly what came up, which is always fascinating for people especially if they don't necessarily fully understand how the quantum energy healing works so um i can really recommend it for people it's a really important um uh, uh solution or i don't know if that solution is the right word but it's a very important um addition that we can make to our life to to really um work at a deep level on so many things simultaneously and so i really wanted you to come on the show and and share with us this uh wonderful work that you're doing and yes. just encourage people to to contact you have a conversation with you talk to you about what you're doing um 
even the uh, herb, the homeopathic remedy kits they can purchase from you. Um, mm -hmm. There's over 80 different remedies that people can purchase and you can specify which ones that you need for you and your family and have a kit put together. So I love everything that you're doing, Tracy. You know, I hope that we can continue um, to stay in touch and work together. And, you know, this workshop will be an amazing opportunity for people. Again, if anyone's interested, it's a homeopathic um, first aid kit workshop with simple everyday remedies for everyone um, telling you about, you know, what you can do for your health with that. I think also homeopathy is really coming to the forefront of people's awareness as well. And I have said this before, but um, the fellow that introduced um, the standard um, big harma um, medicine to <laughs> people, Rockefeller, he never saw a doctor apparently, but he had his own homeopath and he lived to the ripe old age of 104. So, you know, that was something that he didn't tell the masses. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, everyone, you know, should, uh, well, everyone will be benefiting from knowing that homeopathy is um, a very, very comprehensive, unified way of working with all aspects of our wellness. And, um, you know, your your knowledge can really help people with that as well. So um, thank you so much, Tracy. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to share before we leave? Uh, okay. Well, I would really like to thank you for the opportunity to share this information and for your generous, you know, and to, to talk to me because many people don't understand it. They're not interested or they just think it's hocus pocus. So... Um, Oh, I really appreciate you, you, Nadine, for everything that you are doing to help humanity to arise to a higher frequency. Oh, and, beautiful. Thank you. and yeah. Felix, just wanted to add a quick thing in here. I just wanted to mention because I'm Felix, Tracy's son, and I do a lot of uh, art and, and painting. And one thing that I can say definitely about the skio, which is really incredible for me, is that, you know, when you're doing something creative or when you're trying to focus on something, it can make things very tricky if you've been upset by something. Or, you know, I remember I watched this one uh, movie that was very ups upsetting for me um, and I it totally stifled my artistic and creative uh, abilities. And, you know, after uh, I had a, a skio, uh, it totally cleared it off my my consciousness and, and my mind and and I think that's what's the really incredible thing about this is that you know you can have these these sort of traumas and emotions that have been hanging around for years stifling your your energy and your flow and it just get sort of peeled straight back away and and forget that you even had that uh, from the beginning and and it, that's what I think is so incredible about it is sort of like it's returning you to homeostasis or, or, and a natural uh, uh, beginning. You can just kickstart straight back into, uh, you know, being healthy and lively. And that's what it just makes me feel so amazing. I'm so lucky I've got um, mum doing this here <laughs> because I can get plenty of these incredible um, energization treatments where I just feel awesome. This yeah. therapy is just incredible. And, you know, Medina, they say you can't tell people, you have to show them. So he's a very good example. Of and it was your love for him which, you know, pushed you in that direction to explore, you know, alternative healing um, things that you could do for, for that. So, um, you know, good on you, Felix, for getting your mum on her soul mission as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. We, we like to experiment, which is good. Like it's good for people to be open to, you know, something new or something interesting, you know, and, um, you know, remote healing is so much very powerful. It, it, I actually prefer to do distance because uh, the people just lay down and go to sleep and, and, um, and I just go to it and do the treatment and then, you know, they don't have to drive here and sit there and get hooked up and then drive home because they can just sleep through it, wake up and say, wow, feel That's a incredible. lot better now. <laughs> and I, I know what you're saying with that because I, for example, I thought, well, I'll get a 
bit of extra magnesium and zinc to take. And I, I, I bought a supplement for that, like a really good supplement, not one of the ones from the, you know, local um, pharmacy. And, <laughs> but I, but I, <laughs> I can't help myself. But, um, but I, when I took it, I had a terrible headache because I'm sensitive and the um, basic pills were just too much for my system. And yeah. it was like overdosing on them. And and so mm. I had this awful, awful headache the rest of the day. And um, so, you know, with this type of work, it's fantastic because as, as we raise our frequency and the planet ascends and humanity ascends, we are becoming more sensitive. And so you can very easily have too much of something and then it can throw your system out. Absolutely. And, you know, we are a living energetic field creating electromagnetic waves that can be measured. And that's so exciting because nobody ever told us about that. It was all suppressed. That's and, right. um, you know, those homeopathic hospitals, there was plenty of them in the USA, uh, you know, and uh, India still has a lot of, of them. And, um, you know, they, they've they been squashed out and uh i know yeah. i know i remember the days when we there were all these fascinating alternative therapy um health related posts on fast book ah, okay, yes. <laughs> and there were so many of them and then they all just started getting eliminated and deleted till now you don't get any there anymore because you know you're not allowed to post those things so it, it's been a journey, hasn't it? You know, I think as society uh, deconstructs, you know, we have to um, build it with um, a whole new system that is aligned with, with our um, optimal health and wellness. And this is a brilliant strategy for supporting that process. So thank you so much, Tracy, and thank you, Felix, as well. <laughs> and thank uh, you. it's been wonderful to, to chat with you. And I'd love to get people to contact us for this workshop. We won't go ahead unless we get enough people. So it, we, you, I do my workshops for $111 Australian, and it's a 90-minute workshop. It'll be online on Zoom. Um, join us. You can bring your questions about yourself, your family, your health, and we and we can get Tracy to share all her knowledge knowledge and wisdom and this will be a great opportunity for you to be able to really learn more about all aspects of uh, wellness holistic health and homeopathy so thank you again Tracy thank you Felix and have a beautiful beautiful day you too and thank you everyone out there that's uh, listening and watching um, this today please share it with you know family and friends that could benefit because uh, I will say that um, I had a friend who had an eye issue and he went into hospital today and he said the, the it was absolutely overflowing the number of people in there with eye issues which I personally think are related to this uh -huh. that's been rolled out and he said it was just that he couldn't believe how many people were there you know when we're, we're not being told this on MSM mm -hmm. um, we're not being told what's really happening out there but so many people are having these types of things happen and so Anything that I can put out there to do with health, wellness, alternative, healing, anything like that is absolutely um, crucial at the moment, I believe. So uh, oh, thank definitely. you to you for everything that you're doing. Oh, and thank you very much, Medina, and look forward to doing any anything else with you that we might uh, people are interested in. And um, yeah, let's let's uh, let's help people to to make their life a, a higher vibration and 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 more more enjoyable and more in control of of our own um, health and well being. Okay. Beautiful. Well, thank you, everyone, and um, I look forward to seeing you hopefully on the next video. So, bye, everyone. Bless you, Medina. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Have a wonderful life and existence. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you Bye. 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 Thank you.